Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to load any website in your app without using any web browser and using only web view. So let's get started. Open Android Studio and click start a new Android Studio project. Click next. Write the project name. Give the package name. For me, it's com.sandipatacharya.webviewdemo. I'm going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java. And for minimum SDK, select API 16 or Android Jelly Bean. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Go to activity underscore main dot xml. First I will change this layout to linear layout. I will delete this text view and just delete this line. Go to design and from widgets drag and drop a web view into the linear layout. Go to code. I will give an ID for the web view. So write android colon ID at plus ID for our slash web. Check the design. Let's make it web view. Okay. Next, go to mainactivity.java. Declare an web view object reference in the class scope. Write web view web. Get a reference to our web view object. Write web equals to find view by id r dot id dot web view create a web settings object right web settings web settings equals to web dot get settings enable javascript using the web settings object right web settings dot Set JavaScript enabled true. Now, when the user clicks a link from a web page in your web view, the default behavior for Android is to launch an application that handles URLs. Usually, the default web browser opens and loads the destination URL. However, you can override this behavior for your web view so that links open within your web view. You can then allow the user to navigate backward and forward through their web page history that's maintained by your web view. To open links clicked by the user, simply provide a web view client for your web view using set web view client method. Now all links the user clicks load in your web view. If you want more control over where a link load, create your own web view client that overrides the should override URL loading method. So write web dot set web view client here I will create a object for an inner class that I will define below and I will name it callback. And then just call the load URL using the web view object. Right? Web dot load URL within double quotes, give the URL. I am going to give my 
website for URL click here press alt enter and click create inner class callback here write should override key event you are telling android that this is my website so do not override let web view load the page by returning false run the app to see the output Okay, it says web page not available. It also says ERR clear text not permitted. Let's fix them. First of all, we need to give internet permission access for this app. So write uses dash permission Android dot permission dot internet and uses permission android dot permission dot access underscore network underscore state now go to res and create a folder by right clicking on it new directory name it xml right click on it new XML resource file and give a file name of network underscore security underscore config just remove these two lines and write network dash security dash config and inside that write base dash config clear text traffic permitted equals to this will fix the problem now go to manifests and inside the application tag write android colon network security config and give a reference to the xml file that we have just created at xml for slash network underscore security underscore config let's run the app as you can see my website has been loaded correctly inside web view click about me projects Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.